We're with Eastern Connecticut field hockey players Jessica Oliveira and Laura Chikorka, the Warriors getting ready uh, with less than a week before their season opener. Um, Laura, how did preseason go this year? I think it went really well. Um, everybody came back motivated and ready to go. We all passed our tests fairly well. Um, Jed, like Jess was just saying, she coach brought the sheet back from last year and we got to compare how well we did last year to how well we did this year. And most people cut, did cut off a significant amount of time like in their running tests and we're all ready to go. Well, do you, you, guys, you guys are four-year players. Do you see a big difference between how everybody came in this year as opposed to how everyone came in when you were freshmen? Yeah, I think so. From being here for four years, we know the running tests and we kind of know what to expect. So we kind of have an advantage. And since our team is so young, they've all experienced it too. So I think them knowing how to train for it and how the final outcome is has really helped them like cut down their times and just overall and not die through it, enjoy it. Because mm. you just got to do it and you, everyone has to do it. So. Right. Well, how, do you, how can you prepare? How do you prepare in the summer for the preseason? We get a giant packet oh, from the coach. You hate to see that coming. <laughs> yeah, we get a giant packet and it has tons of stuff in it. It has weightlifting sheets and how to do the weightlifting. It has cardio, like what to do for cardio and footsteps and stick skills and nu nutrient yeah. um how yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's just like a giant helpful packet that you follow and it's broken down with a calendar saying you should do this cardio today and this stick shells with this footwork and she kind of pairs it just so you're not like, what do I do today or what do I do tomorrow? So that's just a guideline. Yeah. So it's laid out for you. Yeah. yeah. Personally, I um, live in the same town as Madison LaRusso and we got together at least four times a week and we went to um, one of our high schools and... We would pick one of the running tests and then we would always do like abs or like legs or um, bleachers just to like try and continue working out and to like really push ourselves. And for her, it really, really showed she passed every single running test this year. It's easier to do it with somebody else. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. They definitely push you. Yeah. Is it, is, it, um, is it the kind of thing where every day when you uh, do something, you have to like check it off and contact the coach. I know some sports, it's like every day, it's like, this is what I did today. It's so kind of like it's honor on system, yeah. yeah. You just have to know that you did it for yourself, and then if you didn't, it will show during preseason. Mm -hmm. And we have a constant like communication with each other, so we'll be like, oh, I just did like the 18... Hundreds today, like in eighty-five degree weather. Like, what you guys doing? They're like, oh, like I did the other one. It was pretty hot out, right? So we just check up, check on, up each on each other. Yeah, definitely. It, I'm sure that helps push everybody to know yeah. that other yeah. people are doing it. Yeah, as yeah, it well. does. It reminds you also, like, oh, I haven't done that one yet. I should just yeah. get that one. Done. Yeah. <laughs> but it's tough to do that, isn't it? When you like, if you're working a full time job and stuff, it's tough yeah. to. Mm -hmm. to uh, uh, adhere to that training. We uh, we d noticed that it definitely helped if we did it right in the morning. We would go at like 7 in the morning just to get it done and then we'd mm -hmm. go to work at, I know I worked at 8.30 and she normally worked around 10 so we definitely tried getting it done in the morning because after work you're like I am exhausted, I don't want to go to the yeah. track and oh, yeah. it just yeah. wasn't as well. Like Even one time I brought Maddie to we went to one of the parks near my town, and we ran with the little girl I, na I nanny, like in the carriage. Oh my God. We pushed the baby really? around the park. <laughs> That's dedication. Because if you don't do it in the morning, a lot of times you're just like, well, I'll, you know, I'll skip today. I'll do it tomorrow. Right. Yeah, and you, you just keep saying that. You have to actually yeah. get it done with and do it. And I, like, work better at night. I don't know. I think I have more energy, but I work I at a summer camp, like a sleepaway kind of summer camp. So I had to get up at 6 a.m. every day just to do it. Yeah. Or if I had an hour off, I would go to their gym and, like, wait weightlift and stuff so it was really challenging this summer for me to do running but I like did as much as I could as like often as I could and it was most of the time at 6 a.m. so I'm trained for our 6 a.m. practices on this Thursdays. year <laughs> on Thursday morning 6 a.m. practice during the season yeah. yeah you do yeah well you know you can very very briefly but just talk about like in the preseason a very typical day the kinds of things that you would do in, in a given preseason day very quickly can you talk about that sure we have most of the time we have three sessions. The first sessions we start off with warming up and then our running test. And then after our running test we kind of, um, we do like drills with like a little bit of running, but since we just ran a lot, like coach understands, so we'll do like some <laughs> no. shooting, yeah, she'll do some shooting drills and whatnot, and then more we'll, stick work. Yeah, kind of thing. we'll break for lunch and then we come back and it's more of our learning 
session, but it's still like running and moving and whatnot. But this will be like, she'll stop and be like, this is what you did wrong. Like we should do this instead. So it's more of like a learning stopping one. And then our yeah. third sessions, it's mostly just scrimmaging and like little games. So it's not like the pressure's kind of off, but you're still gonna like do right. the it's best. It's more like a, of a fun practice, yeah. but that's where coach actually sees how we play like in a game like situation. So yeah. Like good. she'll sit up on the bleachers and like watch us scrimmage. Well, no matter how much you get in shape in the summer, those first couple days back, no matter how much you moved your muscles and worked your muscles, aren't most people still sore? Absolutely. The there's, nothing, there's nothing, nothing like field hockey shape. Like, yeah. Field hockey shape yeah. is so different. You can run as much as you want. You can squat as much as you want. But mm -hmm. your hamstrings and your quads and your, and your butt back. is still going to be <laughs> killing you. People don't realize no, how you're always You're like demanding. always in a squatting position. Yeah. You're always running. You're always pivoting. Like, it's... That's why field hockey body. girls, their legs are so strong. Yeah. Right? Because of the... We all got some that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's strong. <laughs> um, let's talk quickly. We'll move on. Um, talk about that you guys have scrimmaged once so far. Um, just talk about how that scrimmage went, Jess. Okay. We, that was our first scrimmage yeah, against Salve Regina. And we, it was a hot day, but we went out there and we played the entire thing. We did two 35-minute halves and then one overtime of 7v7 and then stroke eight seconds and all of us played to the most of our ability and we have to work on, we noticed we work, we need to work on some defense, uh, recovery defense and like one-on-one -on -one defense and probably just when we get it into the circle just shooting right away like we did some of that in practice today. They don't, offense only had four seconds to shoot on defense while we were channeling them so we worked a little bit of both of defense and offense. So the scrimmage overall, overall went pretty well. We banged out like the rusty not scrimmaging another team in a while, so now we're we're excited Good for our next It was our yeah. first time actually yeah. playing like as a team. All together. Like, normally we were scrimmaging versus each other, whereas this time we were working all mm -hmm. together as one. So it was definitely a good thing to have, and we get to do it more time tomorrow. So before our actual season. Isn't it fun after you scrimmage against yourselves for a week to be able to go yeah. play together? Yeah. And yeah. they're pretty competitive with us, right? We usually play. Aren't they pretty competitive with us in terms of their level of play? Yeah, yeah they're a very close good team. Game, yeah, they're a good team. Which was a good test for you guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? They definitely play different than us, though. Yeah. That's what you guys were saying. Yeah, they play like, uh, like there was always two defenders on one offender, so like we had to try and get around two two defenders rather than just getting around one. They played big ball game, whereas we're more of a passing team. Um, so it was definitely harder for them to defend and for us to offend. But yeah, yeah it, was, it was a good game to like get our rustiness out. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> well, talk about this, that um, you guys have played four years. Do you see this year, is it pretty much status quo in terms of the strategy that you guys will play this year? Is you know, Are you guys implementing something, either offensively or defensively, that is completely different than what you guys have done in the past? Or is it pretty much just perfect so. what you've been doing? Last year we had, this last year we, all the starters are back this year. So we have all worked together for a full year already, and we've only gained four new people, which is awesome. We still need the new people to come and con to continue to strengthen our program. But I think that we are going to continue the way we played last year, and I think it worked with us last year. So we're just going to get stronger. You know what? You guys might be the first sport ever here at Eastern, other than maybe basketball, where the entire starting team is back. In a, in a sport like lacrosse or field hockey or baseball or softball, that doesn't happen. No. I mean, even us talking in the preseason, we're saying this is the year. I mean, next year we'll be good, but they're going to lose all the, the seven seniors. They'll be good. But don't you think to a person that this is the year? Yeah. I think so. I think this is the year. And me, as a team, we keep talking about that. I think we all realize that like we have such good players right now. We have such great opportunities right now. We have such great coaches right now. Like, this is our year. This is our time. Like, I think everyone's on the same page. Or, like, we're going to go as far as we can. I think Coach is even pushing yeah. us more this year than she, she has is. in the past, too, because she knows how much we have the opportunity to yeah. go further this year. Mm -hmm. Time is running out for her. I mean, she knows that she's got the whole nucleus this year. And yeah. Again, it will be good next year, yeah. but it won't be what it, what this year is. Mm -hmm. And we were talking before uh, before we went on about how f you guys have improved the program every year. 
they had won one conference game in the three years before you seniors got here, and now you've won 11. Um, are you guys at the point now where you're no longer surprising teams? I think we're still surprising teams. Are you? They still I, don't I think? I think so, too. Yeah. We were ranked, what, eighth yeah. in the LAC poll? I think ninth. Ninth, ninth. Yeah. ninth. So yeah. I, That tells you right I there. Think, yeah, I think they still don't think that we're as good as we are, but we're going to come mm -hmm. out stronger than we did last year, so maybe this will be the year that they actually realize Eastern is a threat yeah. to the LAC. Well, that'll be a good way to leave the program. Yeah. Is other teams realizing that you're not going to take Eastern for granted? Because mm -hmm. I think on that poll, I think at least three of the teams that were ranked ahead of you, you beat last year. So right. I don't know what it takes at this point. But that's yeah. good, though, right? Let them keep thinking. Yeah. Do you think that? We'll Let surprise them keep them. thinking. It's fun being thought you're the underdogs and then coming out on top. So. Everybody roots for the underdogs. That's it's right. <laughs> that's right. Yes. Except for the team that you're playing. Right. Yeah, you're right. Um, what would, what for you guys is going to make a successful season? In other words, you know, a certain number of wins, or hey, we want to go a step farther in the in the in the uh, little East. What would make for a successful season when you look back on the season? Well, we were talking about how sometimes we like to make things interesting and yes. save it to the last minute yes. to like really Always. get into the championship or really yeah. win or really score and like get into overtime. So a success for us would just have a smooth sailing season, not wait until the very last like three games to like win or lose it. So that would be really sure. important to just start off really strong so we have an easier end. And I think yeah. like the last yeah. two seasons we've definitely had like a four or five game flunk in the middle of the season, yeah. whereas I hope this year we just stay strong the entire time and really push through and continue winning throughout the entire season rather than waiting for the last two games to actually get into the when LAC the tournament. On. Yeah. Well, talk about Clearly that. Clearly we're good under pressure, though. Clearly. Well, yeah, <laughs> you were last year. Talk about that. You had lost five in a row, and then you had to go to Western, which it was 6-2 and two at the time in the conference, and it didn't look good. Uh, what, was the, and what was the mindset going into that big Western game towards the end of last year? Just, we're not losing. <laughs> yeah. That was the mindset. When our, we were freshmen, like, our upperclassmen, like, made it very clear that it was WestCon was our rivals. Like, we just cannot lose to them. So we kept that, and, like, we show our upperclassmen that, too, that when it comes to, like, WestCon, like, it doesn't matter. We just go 100% the entire game, and, like, that's it. Like, <laughs> there's no other option. You just go as yeah. hard as you can. But there was a lot of pressure going into that game. Because yeah. I think the, yeah. that would have knocked you out yeah. if you yeah. had lost West it. Yeah, had a very good season. And at yeah. one point, yeah. our goalie got, um, Sam Scavo, got a yellow card. Yeah. And so. had to come out of the game. Yeah. So, yeah. that We just so what had to case? continue pushing through. I'm pretty sure I just played... Goalie. <laughs> well, I well, what happened was at first hurt. that was the first time it ever happened. Oh. Yeah, so, so everyone had no idea what like, to do, what was going on. But we ended up getting to be able to take out a player. Yeah. Um, right. and then so that would make Sam go back in earlier than what she would have had to. Yes. So Sam only sat out for a shorter period of time because we took out another player too. So then Sam got to go back in. But yeah, Jess and Katie Jankara and Veronica went throughout pretty much played goalie. Because we didn't have a goalie for a little while. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was a little bit of a panic of like two minutes, but, but we, we got past it. Like, we, we got past it, and I'm pretty sure that two minutes, like the ball was pretty much on, yeah. not on our side of the fifty. Like we, the offense kept it up yeah. because That's we knew key. how we needed to not to let the away. defense play with the ball at all. It's I think almost we were like very calm. You were calm. Yeah, I don't remember feeling like freaked out. Freaked out because I knew I, I don't know. I just trusted like my teammates, and it felt like it was Westcon who were like panicking because they're like they don't have a goalie. Like we need to get a goal, score. and yeah. we just kind of sat back and we're like, all right, come to us. We'll take the ball. We'll go back that way. Yeah, we we yeah. play as a team that that game for sure. Yeah. So after the game, you just told Sam to cool it, right? No more. Games, right? <laughs> yeah, we're like, let's, yeah, not, let's, do let's that not do that again. again. <laughs> Well, let's just talk about one more game really quick from last year when you guys clinched it at home uh, against that was Worcester State, wasn't it? Yeah. And you guys went up three nothing, and I mean they scored a couple late in the game, but uh, it was by and large, barring an, uh, a major catastrophe, you guys had that game. It's, it looked like you guys came out absolutely ready to go and put that game away early. We were, we definitely were. We knew we had to win it. We wanted to be in the LEC tournament for the first time in ten mm -hmm. years, and we we made that our goal, and we achieved it. For sure. Mm -hmm. And then how about the, the, the Keen game was just, uh, you just really had them on their heels the whole game. And that would have been, yeah. that probably would have been the biggest upset in field hockey, in Little East field hockey history. Yeah. Could you, as that game was progressing and you were winning, are you guys saying, we just got to keep pushing, keep pushing, we can win this thing? 
Yeah, absolutely. Everyone was just very fired up. Like, whenever we had, like, um, a little huddle or if we had a timeout, like, everyone's just like, let's go. Everyone was on the same page. We were all, like, fired up. Everyone just, even if they weren't in the game, like, everyone on the sidelines, like, you they could They never stopped cheering yeah. for us. Like, we were, like, it was <laughs> we just, were like, all just loud. talking, like, we were yeah. such, like, a... I don't even I don't even know how to describe that. I even like, heard like our parents like on the bleachers and like yeah. our fans like it was just like an Eastern like game like everyone was on the same page everyone was giving hundred percent like it was our team's probably one of our favorite games but like one of our like least favorite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, the only good thing about the fact that you lose that game and it has to be a, that had to be an absolute bummer when you lost that but the good thing is that you knew that everybody was coming back. And you would have another yeah, chance, right? Yeah, we have another chance this year, for sure. Mm -hmm. And we saw how well we can play. Yeah. Like, we, we, yeah, yeah. we know our full potential now. We hit it that game, and now we have to play every game like that. It's a lot of pressure. And you, what you guys want to do is you want to stay at that level all year, mm -hmm. right? Come out strong and just maybe qualify for the playoffs with a week or two left. Right? Yeah. Instead yes. of waiting. That would be a lot nicer. <laughs> game, we have a game. lot of our... Uh, our conference games in the beginning of our season yeah. this year too so well that's a good point you guys open up at UMass Dartmouth which has always been one of the better teams we haven't beaten yeah. them in like like 10 years but I think last we're year we're always pretty close yeah I was just saying mm -hmm. they weren't before we used to be like a 6 7 nothing game and now it's like 2 1 1 nothing, something yeah. like that wouldn't that be a great start for the season to, to beat them right off the bat and tell Absolutely. people definitely do you guys um in, in terms of the team chemistry, with so many people back, you guys must just know each other inside and out, especially yeah. on yeah. the field, right? <laughs> yes. Both on and off, for sure. Both on we and spend off. a lot of our time yeah. together. <laughs> and even though it's a short season, it's still, uh, you guys must bond incredibly well, yeah. having been knowing yeah. everybody on the team. It's a, it's a full year team. Like, yeah. Yeah. It doesn't yeah, it's end. We don't stop hanging out when season's yeah. over whatsoever. Yeah. Um, well, just just the last question, the last thing to talk about is, um, in terms of the in terms of the Little East Conference postseason, is it completely out of the realm to think that hey, we could win this thing? I don't we think could so. win this conference tournament. I don't think so. Um, I remember like coming in as a freshman or sophomore. We always had the leaders of our team um, always say like do it for the seniors, like, this is the seniors' last game, and, like, mm -hmm. we always try pushing for our seniors, like, Lauren, DeLuca, Rochelle, Normandy, and, like, Kelly, and Finley, and mm -hmm. I think, like, since we always did it for them, like, I know our team's going to do it for us, too, yeah. and I think we're just going to all push as hard as we possibly can Yeah. to, like, actually get there, because I think we actually have the We've the worked together for together. a long time. Like, yeah. We were always yeah. like a young team, and now yeah. we can't really say that anymore because no. now we're, <laughs> we're old. The, <laughs> <laughs> but we've been working with a lot of these like girls like for a very long time. So like, yeah. I know that they're gonna give it their hundred percent for us. Just like we're gonna give them hundred percent for, for our last year. Too. Yeah. Well, the Warriors open up on September first at home, and they will be opening up their two thousand and fifteen season. Ladies, thanks for joining me.